Hey guys, it's Chris and a new tutorial as always we are building a new electronics gadget here. Today's project is the small version of the light breathing circuit that I made on my previous video and I will show you how to make it. Let's get started. As I mentioned in the intro, this is the small version of the previous through hole based gadget and both are using the same circuit schematic since they are both based on the LM358 operational amplifier. So if you need to get to the details of this schematic, do not miss to watch my previous video. The only difference is that we are using surface mounted parts in here and you can search for the appropriate components to suit your circuit needs from Octopart. Here I searched for the SMD parts that I need and then I easily downloaded them and uploaded them to my Altium schematic. The circuit also has a power connector and slide switch for power on and off control. I transformed the schematic to a PCB design and I arranged the parts inside this small size PCB layout. The way I did for the previous version, I made some PCB art in the routing of the circuit board and I used two types of LEDs, where the small ones light on in a low brightness but the large ones having higher brightness. I then generated the Gerber files related to my circuit design and moved it to JLC PCB where I uploaded those design files to place my order. I also ordered the stencil for this project and I customized the stencil size since the PCB is very small so no need for a big stencil. Six days later I got the blue box on my desktop and here are my circuit boards and the stencil as well. After getting the board ready, now it's time for assemble. I used the stencil to help me equally spread the solder paste on the PCB pads and it worked perfectly. Then I placed the parts each one to its placement on the board. I then set the appropriate hot plate temperature to complete the assembly. Here is a closer look to the assembled components and you can see the residue of the flux that we must remove using some flux removal solvent. After cleaning the board, it looks ready, so I then designed this circuit housing to give better appearance to the gadget the way we did for the big size version. And I 3D printed it using my 3D printer in PLA filament. Those 3mm threaded inserts are good solution to screw the board to the housing, but a well sized housing will not need screw to put the circuit board in it. After completing the gadget assembly, it is ready to take the 12 volt power from this power connector and as soon as I power on the circuit, the LEDs light up in a breathing rhythm that could be controlled from this small potentiometer. This way we achieved both versions of this project and we are done for today. Do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for more electronics videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.